Hi, I'm Grant, VM at Timescale, and this is Explain Analyze. Explain Analyze is a new series where we will share the developer experience on the Timescale platform, showcasing new features we are adding to help you get the optimal performance from your database, much like the Explain Postgres command, even without the expert DBA knowledge. Today, I'm here to talk to you about one of the improvements we have made to help ensure you're getting that optimal performance from your database, which are chunk size recommendations. We recently introduced recommendations for when the chunk sizes of your hypertable are too small. For those not familiar, hypertables are Postgres tables that automatically partition your data over time, and those partitions are called chunks. Having too small of chunks causes suboptimal performance by increasing the planning times associated with queries and creating a lot of metadata bloat. For customers using our timescale platform, we are able to use our platform statistics to determine which customers, aka hopefully you, are negatively impacted by their configuration, and we can recommend a more optimal chunk size, which will get you better performance. So let's see what this looks like in practice. Here you can see I have my list of services. Um, and I'm in the timescale console where I have already created two services with very small chunks that match the conditions we've discussed. As you can see in the list of services, I can already see that the recommendations that timescale thinks I could benefit from taking. So if I go into my service overview page, I see also this badge here, which offers me recommendations. And I can follow these warning breadcrumbs into the explorer to see which of my hypertables are impacted. You can also see just clicking directly on these recommendations from the server or from the service list page takes me directly to the Explorer. Again, if I follow these breadcrumbs down, I can see I have many hyper tables with issues here, which were created for demonstration purposes today. As I continue to follow these breadcrumbs into the hyper table itself, eventually I'm now into the hyper table itself and I can now adjust the chunk size and fix the problematic table. So as I can see here, I have this recommendation within the console stating that it is causing poor performance and that we actually up, uh, recommend increasing the interval to one year. So if I click update interval size, I now have this drawer that slides out telling me my current interval and what my recommended chunk interval is. If I think time scale is wrong, I can choose a different value here, but we uh, will provide a recommended badge next to whatever chunk interval we think is best based on the current data. I do this. I can run this directly in the console, thanks to our Popsicle editor, and then done. Once I've done this, I can see that the warning for this hyper table disappears or the, and the recommendation disappears as well. One thing to note about chunk intervals is that they will only change going forward. So this won't retroactively fix the issue. So it will take some time for you to see performance gains as your database continues to ingest more data. But eventually the issue will resolve itself and you should see performance gains in a short while. And voila, now I can see my chunk size has been adjusted to the recommended value going forward. And as more data gets added, my database performance will continue to improve. Beyond building blazing fast database, Timescale is continually investing in our developer experience on our platform, as you can see in our console, helping users get optimal performance out of their database, even without expert DBA knowledge. If you're curious about Timescale DB and the Timescale platform, sign up for a free trial below or wherever there are links associated with this video. I'm Grant. Thank you.